Tlahayum, Nagani Marta Clifford, Tillicum, Chinook, and Cree, and Grand Ronde. Hi, I'm Marta Clifford. I am a member of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde. I'm here today with the Kalapuya Talking Stones. This first one we're looking at is Gani. It means trail through the woods. The Kalapuya Talking Stones were installed in 2002 with uh, cooperative work with the CPC of Eugene in Springfield and Esther Stutzman, who is the coordinator of this project. Esther Stutzman is a Kalapuya tribal elder who is the one that came up with the idea of the Kalapuya Talking Stones. The area what, that we are now in is called the Willamute Natural Area. The name had been changed to the Willamute to honor the Kalapuya people. Willamute means where the river runs and ripples fast. I always tell that to the students when we go across the bridge and have them look down at the river and tell them that we're entering the Willamute Natural Area. Because of COVID-19, this year the tours of the Kalapuya Talking Stones are going to be self-guided tours. There's a link on the website that you can click on to get to the brochure. The brochure looks like this and it lists all the talking stones. You can follow the map and make sure you see them all or you can just do parts of them. So the mural that's under the Willamute Passage Bridge, which is on I-5, is not part of the Talking Stones tour. However, it is something that should not be missed. It's beautiful, it's um, a depiction of Kalapuya people uh, going down the river in their dugout canoes. Some of them have their families with them, but it's just breathtaking and it's very inspiring. I often go down there and sit and just write because it is very inspiring to me. The Willamette River Festival has used the depiction of the mural from the beginning. I have been doing tours of the Kalapuya Talking Stones for about eight years now. Um, I mostly do them for the University of Oregon students. They are very impressed to see that this area is supporting the Kalapuya people and it means so much to them and it makes them feel at home here to know that they are keeping the language alive. If you keep the language alive, then you can keep the people alive. However, the reason that I do it is because the power of the stones. They talk to me and they are so happy to be here. If you have questions about the Kalapuya talking stones, or perhaps maybe even how to say the different words that are on the stones, please feel free to contact me. My email will be provided.